Well, hello, everybody. My name is Lance Cummins uh, here at Anyvo, and I've got a special guest. Hello, I'm Ellie. This is Ellie, my daughter. And um, actually, I've got my other daughter just off screen. You'll get to meet her in a minute as well. And uh, that's an important part of the Anyvo story. And uh, we want to tell you all about our Anyvo backdrops, why we built them. We're even going to show you how they work. And we're going to just do kind of an interactive time. So hopefully you're not just going to like tentatively watch this and hope for the best. Uh, we really need for you to ask questions. Uh, ask us anything. If I don't know the answer, what do I do? Make it up. <laughs> no. Just make it up, right? That's what we do, uh, better than anything. So let me tell you a little bit about what we're standing in front of. So actually right now, uh, Ellie and I are standing in front of an Anyvu backdrop. And you can find out more about these at Anyvu, there's the name, .com. My wife says that the V, wait, where am I at? The wife, my wife says the VOO right here, I have to go in reverse, um, stands for Video Optimized Office, which is really cool. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of backstory and then I'm gonna show you what we're standing in front of, do some zooming out and we'll, do, we'll have a bunch of fun. So um, about nine years ago, I started a company called Nectify, which is a growth content marketing company. We're completely remote. Um, we started when we were in Boston the first person I hired was in Kansas. We hired a designer in the UK. Um, one of my team members moved to California. And so we said, all right, we're completely remote. Um, in that line of work, all of our customer interaction was via video. We did Zoom, um, you know, and have done Zoom for quite a, quite a while. And so I, I started thinking, wow, it would be great if we could look a little more professional when we do these calls because all of our team works from a secondary room of the house typical remote story. Um, and so I started buying stuff with the Nectify name on it and put it behind them. And I tried to get the team to use it. And there were all kinds of things that we tried. Pipe and drape, we tried X banner stands. We tried like the reflective pop out things, all of that good stuff. And what I noticed is the team would use it for a little while and then stop using it. Or they'd put up the banner behind them, which was similar to this, it actually had a wood uh, panel on it just like this. And it would sag and kind of wave and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And we said, well, that's not really gonna work. So I said, well, maybe there's a solution we can figure out. So we started just trying all kinds of stuff. I bought a 3D printer. Um, I taught myself some CAD because I wanted to get like just some really basic parts that I couldn't find. And uh, we figured out how to do some printing, put this whole thing together. So uh, that was in October of 2018. We got the idea. Over 2019, I spent the time just trying a bunch of stuff, building out stuff, sending prototypes to people to see what they thought, gave me some feedback because we wanted to build something that was optimized for the remote worker. Uh, you could obviously come up with all kinds of solutions. How many solutions did you write about on our website? Other ways to solve this? 18 other solutions. There are 18 other solutions that we found other than the Anyvu backdrop, which I know sounds crazy that we would tell you that right up front. Uh, if you go to anyvu.com and clip, click on the word tips at the top, you'll see one of the articles there. Giant article we've gone through and like come up with all these different ways that you could do a background um, other than buying our stuff. Which is, which is cool. I even, in one of the posts, will show you how to build an actual wood wall <laughs> because that's what I did once is built a wood wall because I cared so much about what was behind us. Um, so all that to say, we are very, very into making people look great on camera. If you're a remote worker and you're trying to interact in a professional environment, you know, right now the culture is very much like Hey, it's great that we're from anywhere and, you know, and that's fun. And that, that builds a human interest uh, thing, you know, if, if crazy stuff happens or if your room is messy behind you. But if you're a salesperson, for instance, and you're trying to close million dollar deals and you're selling into corporate America or corporate global anywhere, um, and you're trying to come across as a professional, sometimes you don't want to have the bed behind you. So um, actually at home, my office is in the second bedroom and we, um, we have a, there's a bed right behind our backdrop. Today, we're standing in our workspace in Piedmont, South Carolina, which is just south of Greenville, South Carolina. If you go look, um, look that up, uh, you can see right where we're at. And uh, so let me just show you, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see what we're standing in front of. And uh, we're gonna go over 
some people are already asked us some questions. You can tell me what those are here in a minute. Uh, we're going to go over that, uh, talk about what this thing's made of, how you put it together, get some feedback, and all that good stuff. All right. So I'm going to zoom out. Uh, I've got my little thing. So we're actually standing in front of this size um, frame, and it's five foot seven inches tall. So I think Leonardo da Vinci is the one who figured out that our our wingspan is about the same as our height. I'm like 5'11". I think he figured that out. Um, he drew pictures about it at least. Um, so you can see it's not quite as wide as I am. Um, and it's you can't quite see the bottom here, but this is 51 inches tall. So four foot three by five foot seven. Uh, we designed it that size because we wanted it to be full screen at a normal resolution. So if you have like a MacBook, um, the webcam on that MacBook, if you use that, it's about 55 inches. So four foot, seven inches from your webcam to this screen. So we know you probably wanna have a little space in front of it. If you have a chair, you'll see I'm standing cause I can't sit down. Um, that was the, the premise behind this. And we said at that size, here's the size this needs to be. I hope that makes sense. Um, so this is um, just a frame sitting on a telescoping stand. And yes, I am here in any booze. Uh, workspace, like I said, we cut our fabric right here. My daughter Anna is in the back room right now, sewing a drop for one of our customers. Um, and so I'm gonna show you kind of how this works, but as you can see, I, very, very simple to use. I just pop it up on my stand here and I'm ready to go uh, for a video call. This, um, every Inibu backdrop is actually double-sided. So I'll turn this around so you can kind of see what's going on. In this case, obviously I've got the other side branded Inibu, but we can print any kind of design on these fabrics. So anything you could possibly imagine that you want behind you in a professional setting, we can do that. Uh, there are people who have created you know, spaces and that sort of thing behind them. Uh, what we typically recommend is create a branded space behind you. It doesn't have to be like the logo over the shoulder like you're doing the, uh, the evening news, but be a part of your brand, right? Is that what we say? Yeah. Am I missing anything so far? No, you're doing Why don't you ask me some questions that people have asked and then we'll go from there and then we'll show some more. Okay, they wanna know how portable it is. How portable is it? Great question. So there are two frames that we currently use and I'm gonna show you how this frame goes together in a moment. Uh, but basically the quick setup frame is four aluminum tubes. Would you hold that for me, Ellie? Just just keep that there. There are four aluminum tubes, and I'm going to bring that up here and show you. So there's the top and the bottom and the two sides. So the top and the bottom are 67 inches. So just like the width of the frame. So I call this the quick setup because when you get this out of the box, when you buy an Inibu, you put this on the floor, you slip the side poles in, you put the top uh, crossbar on it, and you stretch the fabric and zip it and you're good to go, you're ready. Um, we also make a, what we call a travel frame, which is especially good for uh, nomadic remote workers or people who just like to you know, break things down and, and stash them in a bag, that it breaks down to 25 inches long uh, and it still fits within a ba basically a five by six inch cube. So you get the telescoping stand, uh, the quick setup stand mount, you get the four tubes and then the fully custom printed Inibu fabric uh, uh, that goes on it. Um, so the, in the travel frame, by the way, they're shock corded together. So they just slide in and they basically form these shapes, but shock corded together. So it's super simple. Let me show you how the frame goes together. And then you can see if there are any other questions, I'll answer those too. Okay. So, um, it's a really simple principle. They have these corner pieces. I'm gonna get close to the camera. I try not to poke you in the eye while I do this, all right? So there's a corner piece and there are these thumb wheels that just slide. So there's a groove right here that just slides right in there. I'm gonna put my hand right here, slide that in just like that. Give it a little tug and then that tightens down. And now you have a frame. So we, we do that on each corner. And then what we do is we, I'm gonna set this down because I wanna show you sort of the, how the fabric part works. Okay. 
Okay. So what we do is the fabric just stretches over it, right? And then we zip it up. And then if you need, so this is a this is a step repeat banner, by the way, that that we've done for um, for some of our interview calls. Then if you just need to like straighten something or there's a pattern that needs to be popped to make it look better, you actually just grab the fabric right here on the side like this and pop it. This is all um, athletic apparel quality spandex. So it feels amazing. Um, I joke about it that it feels like yoga pants, which you probably shouldn't wear this. I know it's a silly joke, right? Ellie loves that. She loves that joke. Um, but super easy to straighten and keep looking good. And one of the criteria I had was when I was building this is, I don't know about you, but I do a terrible job at like taking pristine care of things. And I thought, man, if I have to always baby this fabric and I have to worry about how it looks when I put it behind me, that's going to be no good. So basically um, you can wad this up. In fact, I store things. I'll show you. I have a bin right behind me here. I'll show you how I store this fabric. This is for my own stuff. This is how I store it right here. Isn't that sad? I won't treat your stuff like this. This is just my own stuff. Um, because I know that when I pull it up on a frame, it tightens up and it looks beautiful. It's not glossy, so it doesn't reflect, um, looks great on camera um, and so forth. So that's sort of the material um, and how it's made. And I, I hope I answered your question about portability. What are the questions do we have, Ellie? We've got a lot of questions in here. Nice, now. ask them. Okay, somebody wants to know how customizable the backdrop is. Yeah, it's a fantastic question. So this is, this is what's crazy. We've got two different ways that you can do this. We have a few stock designs that you could just choose to add your logo to. And we have a really high tech method of doing this. Essentially, when you order, you add your logo to an email that you receive back from us. I put that into Photoshop, make it look great for your logo. So sometimes we're even like adding a drop shadow. We might re inverse the color, whatever needs to happen that you approve uh, to make sure it looks great. We send you the design proof. We make sure you're 100% happy. Then we print it, sew it, and ship it. Um, you can print anything on here. So anything that you can design, uh, we'll give you a template in Photoshop. You can print whatever you want. So if it's your brand and there's certain things, certain elements that have to be in there, perfect, not a problem. It'll look great. The only little caveat is if you need to do Pantone color matching, Pantone system color matching, there's a little bit of an add-on fee just because at the printer, we have to go through extra steps to make sure that we actually nail corporate color, but we've seen that the color is very, very close, certainly close enough for if you're doing webcam video calls, because people's monitors are going to change your brand color anyway. Um, so I hope that answers your question. If not, ask, uh, ask it again or another way there in the chat. What else do we have? Do you ship international? Also, in case material is broken to build the frame, do you support damage? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. So we do ship internationally. Um, we just ask that you pay for the actual shipping part. So we've currently shipped uh, to the UK, to the Netherlands, we ship a lot to Canada. We've shipped uh, to New Zealand. Um, yeah, I, and by the way, we're, so we are three months old, just to put this in context. So uh, there's, this is very much a family operation, uh, but, it, but we're growing very quickly. And obviously the timing of this has kind of been nuts with a lot of people suddenly discovering re remote working, even though we've been in it for a long time. And we, we bought the, or released the space back in December getting ready for stuff. We had no idea that this is what's going to happen, obviously, just like no one else. It looks like. Oh, yeah, hold on. There was a question. I think the second part of that question was about damage, right? Yes. Um, if something's damaged, we will take care of it. We'll ship it back to you, ship another one to you. We've only had one Anyvu backdrop damaged, and it was actually on a shipping to Chicago here in the U.S. Uh, UPS took it and sort of bent it into a right angle. <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, everything else has, has gone very, very well there, but we'll, we'll take care of you. Uh, by the way, we have a hundred percent guarantee, risk-free guarantee. If you don't love your Anivu in 30 days, we'll just give you all your money back. It's pretty easy. So um, we really believe in what we're doing and we think you'll really love it too. And we know there's a big risk. We also know it's not an inexpensive product uh, because it's, we're using high quality materials across the board. Um, and we, we know that you really want to look good for people, especially of customer centric video calls. That's good. Okay. How about somebody who's addicted to collecting things? He says, 
um, do you have anything to store multiple backdrops? Oh, addicted to collecting things. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, so we don't have a, like a bag or anything at this point uh, because essentially when you get the kit, it comes in a box. You have your metal tubes. It's Velcroed to one of these stands, uh, telescoping stands, very lightweight aluminum. By the way, I don't know if we mentioned, but the entire kit including the fabric, which the fabric is the heaviest part of this, is less than 10 pounds. So uh, the fabric itself weighs about four of those pounds because it's high quality fabric. Um, so we've had, we've had people order the frame and a fabric and then another fabric. That way you can change it out quickly. Uh, again, because you don't have to be very careful with storing it. You can just roll it. That's how we store a lot of our stuff. You roll it, stick it in the little uh, bag that it comes in. There's a little... Um, what they call it, rip stop fabric bag that the fabric itself slips in. Uh, but we try to go real minimal with our packing uh, materials and for waste and all that sort of thing. Uh, but but it should should store pretty nicely for you. The second part of that question is how long does it take to change the backdrop? Oh, it's a great question. We could actually do a test here in a minute. Why don't we say, you remind me, toward the end here, let's just do a timed thing. <laughs> we'll make it into We'll do it like a game. <laughs> Maybe you guys can guess how long it's going to take me. Um, yeah, a game show. Let's we'll see who, who's the closest. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it goes pretty quick. Um, the the longest part of the process, at least in my estimation, is after you get it on. If you have a really distinct pattern, so for instance, I've got wood on here, right? Um, especially by the by the the edges of the metal. When you pull this on, when you stretch it on, the the spandex is going to stretch, right? So when I get this together, it takes me probably 15 seconds to just go and like go, all right, that doesn't look good on camera. Now it does look good on camera because I just wanted to get it looking really nice. I will tell you that a lot of people, the customers that we've spoken to, a lot of folks don't take this down all the way every time. So, uh, and I do this at home in fact, is basically I'll take it off the stand and then I'll just lean it against the wall of my secondary bedroom or as you can see what we've got here on the back wall, we actually have wall mounts. So some folks have actually taken it where they'll print a different print on the back that's like their non-work uh, side and they'll hang it on the wall. So it looks like a great piece of art. We used it at Ellie's swing dance party the other night in the basement. We put one of our stacked stone uh, designs on the wall. It looked really cool. We had like the, the swagged lights and all of that. So there's a lot of different ways people handle it. You can break it all the way down, slide it under a bed. You can break it all the way down, toss it in a closet or just lean it against the wall like we do a lot of the time. It looks like they asked if they were to break the frame, is there an option to buy another frame without the backdrop? If you were to break the frame, you're like Superman. Um, actually, I mean, it is aluminum. So if you, if you decided to do a chin up on it, you could definitely bend the frame. There are options to buy frames by themselves. If you go look at the website right now, there's not something on there because we're working on that. Um, you know, as I said, we are just getting going. And so we're getting these pieces together. But if you need a frame, absolutely. And uh, we'll, we make sure that you have something that works for you. I could give you some very specific examples of how we've gone over and above what we need to to make sure that our customers have a backdrop that absolutely works 100% for them. Why should someone choose this over using the digital green screen effect in Zoom calls? Yeah, it's a great question. So it would be fun. Um, I don't have it set up right now. So we have a whole video series that we're, we're coming out with on how this looks compared to a green screen. So um, there are a couple of things with a green screen that it totally makes sense to do green screen. And we try to make this really clear on our website. So what we're trying to do with Anivu is for people who care about being better <laughs> than average. Um, so we're dealing with high performers, people who, so a lot of people who buy our backgrounds are keynote speakers, people who do TED Talks all over the world. They're uh, salespeople who are trying to sell into, you know, really expensive environments. People who say, I can't afford to look like slightly less than amazing. So there are a lot of options less than an EVU that would work. Uh, plus, let's face it, green screens and virtual backgrounds are a blast. So like if you're just getting on web calls with, with your coworkers and you know you want to put up a Star Wars background behind you, great, go do it. Use your little green screen. You know They sell the kind that stick to your chair. If you don't mind having something right on the back of your head, do that or get just a full green screen. Uh, you're going to find that your, your best option probably if you're going to do a stand in a green screen is like a pop-out reflector. 
Um, it gives you a little more space, gets it back off of you just a little. Uh, the challenge with green screen, of course, is lighting, uh, because if you don't get the lighting quite right, what happens is you start looking um, artificial. So if your background, if that digital image you've put up is lit a certain way and you're lit differently in person, um, it actually looks pretty funny. I was on a, a sales call the other day for Nectify and the guy looked amazing. He had this cool like virtual set behind him because I do use a green screen. And uh, But wherever he was, he must have been in front of a window rather than a steady light because as our call went on, he got darker and darker and darker and darker <laughs> and, and the virtual set behind him was still the same color. It wasn't a deal breaker, obviously, and he wasn't trying to sell me anything, so it didn't matter. It's just kind of funny. It's an example of, you know, there are a lot of times green screens make a ton of sense. I will say, in fact, a lot of folks, what they do, we offer a green screen on the back of our Inivu backdrops. So for a lot of people who are like, ah, I missed the flexibility, They'll do a green screen. It's super convenient as a green screen. You put it up behind you and then you're going to do your sales call or the things that you really care about. You know, you don't want to worry about the what I call the green jaggies. You know, when you <laughs> when you gesture like this, which I do a lot of um, on your on a green screen, you have like this weird like green jaggies around your fingers. Um, so there are great times for green screens. The Inivu is not a, a replacement for a green screen. It's for high performers who need something much better than that. All right, what other questions do you have? Looks like people are saying they like it. Oh, awesome. All right. <laughs> um, okay, so let me, uh, let's do our do little, thing? let's do our time thing. All right, so I'm going to, we're going to go old school. I mean, is an iPhone old, old school? No? Okay, Here, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we've, we've not practiced this, so this is kind of fun. So I'm going to have Ellie, um, you're going to tell me when to go, and I'm going to get, let's see, I'm going to get my, we have a stacked stone. This is actually the stacked stone that we had hanging in the basement uh, the other night. Um, let me show you this, what it looks like just kind of hanged out, hanging out here with not on a frame. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to, we're going to replace my Inivu branded backdrop with that one sitting over there. And I'm, I'm not going to touch anything until she says go. All right. Now you tell me you when. You want me to hold the timer up so they can see it? Yeah, you kind of keep it on the corner. It'll be like this nice lower third. Okay. Wait, wait, Hunter, what we do we have? 40, 45, and 50. 40 seconds. 45 <laughs> and 50. I like this. Okay. It's a good okay. Whoa. 25. Someone has confidence. <laughs> All right. This is, I like this. Alrighty. All right. You ready? It. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right, so first I'm gonna flip it over because I like to work with the zipper right here where I can get to it. I'm gonna zip that off just like that. I'm gonna pull that down just like that. And I'm gonna take that off the bottom. And I'm gonna let it fall on the ground because this is a race against time. That's why, <laughs> okay. Ah, I'm, I'm losing time just finding the front. So you just put it on one edge like this and then you pull it to the other end, just like this. And then you kind of work that down just like this. What are we at right now, Ellie? 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. Sorry, Hunter. <laughs> was it Hunter that said 25? Oh I man. Know. I don't know what number it is. All right. We're almost there. So I'm going to flip that over. And again, I like to do it like this because it lets me just work standing up instead of hunched over on the floor. Some people will continue to wrestle with it from the top. Um, all right. So I, I'm clearly nervous about all the time. This is a flustering experience. A you got this. I'm, I'm on. I'm under pressure, I'm nervous, I'm shaking, <laughs> so excited. All right, we're gonna call this that it's on, even though I don't have yeah, the we're gonna call it final on. adjustment. All right, so I would just adjust this like this at this point, because I've got my stacked stone. All right, what's our time at, Ellie? You're at 112. 112, whoa, <laughs> that took forever, took forever, okay. <laughs> Two <laughs> hours. Pillowcases <laughs> are brutal. They are, right? They are the <laughs> Don't wait, know how wait. I feel about that. So, so Tope, you got it. One minute. Look at that. Snap. Beautiful. That's a good estimate. <laughs> These people are skilled. Nice, nicely done. <laughs> hey, let me hang this one up behind me because I want you to see what this looks like. Because I was shocked. I mean, I I work with these all the time. I was shocked when I saw what they look like when these stone walls are behind me. I'm going to zoom in to my normal setup. So check this out. Um, I don't know if it'll be all angled just right, but I mean, like, it's kind of cool how it quickly goes from, I was just standing in a room to suddenly I've got like, you know, a nice background behind me. Um, 
And by the way, I'm in front of a big window right now too. So you'll see the lighting kind of change. The good news about having a printed background is that as the lighting changes, whatever happens on me happens on my background. Uh, in my home office, so come, because I'm at Anyvir right now, I'm supposed to be over there sewing and cutting, um, right? Or packing. Um, but at, at the home office, I've got, you know, it's got a couple of lights just to keep things really steady. So um, good stuff, good stuff. Um, all right, so basically, one of the things that we're trying to, um, to, to create here early on are people who care about what they're doing with um, sales calls, care what they're doing with like, a lot of people are shooting, um, you know, content videos on these backgrounds. Uh, a lot of folks are just realizing, you know, you can do a green screen and then go into like a post edit with green screen. The challenge with like non-Zoom green screen, if you're if you're not aware of this, is that it requires a lot of effort to make it look really good. Um, even the like the pros, right? The movies. I remember we watched Narnia once, mm -hmm. and they have a scene where they're kind of doing something. Who knows what? Something in Narnia. Yeah. <laughs> right. And um, even with the big budget and everything, you're like, wow, something doesn't seem quite right. It's because your brain tells you when there's something real there, or whether it's a green screen. So um, again, green screens are great for a lot of things, but just if you're trying to do something that kind of is that notch above, then and that's kind of what we're trying to, to do here. Um, I've had people ask me about bulk discounts. So if you have a company that's completely remote or you have a lot of remote team members, uh, we do offer discounts starting at about 30 backdrops. Uh, anything less than that, it just doesn't really make any sense. Uh, but I, one thing that we've heard over and over again is that not, we're not patting ourselves on the back. Um, I'm just going to say what people have told us, all right? People have said that we provide kind of a ridiculous level of personalized customer service. I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to tell you what that means exactly. And we don't come to your house, so it's not creepy, <laughs> right? There's no singing or anything. <laughs> no, um, but we, we really care about people getting something that looks amazing because we want remote work to sort of have that same credibility uh, because it's changed our life. Remote work has changed our life. It has. Um, in 2017, three years ago, I took the family and we basically worked out of an RV for about 18 weeks out of the year. Remember that? Yeah, that was good stuff, right? Crazy. I built like this little fake wall in my camper that looked branded like my Nectify wall at home. If I'd had one of these, I would actually probably built a small one and just threw it, thrown it up behind me. Um, but we love remote work. We love that uh, ability to work from anywhere in the world um, and yet still provide a professional experience for people on the other end of the call. So do you have any other questions? Um, not that I can think of. We did the front and the back so you can get two separate designs. Yeah. Is anybody, if you have questions for Ellie, we only have a couple minutes left. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so Ellie is, um, she actually works for Nectify as well. And um, what has it been like as a, she, Ellie's 19, what has it been like as a remote worker for you? Um, just what's that experience been like? It's been really good. It, it's been an interesting experience being so young doing it. That's part of what I've loved about having an Anivu backdrop is being able to not let people see my bedroom and things like that. Having a little bit more privacy it, there. She says, you gotta... she, she says she doesn't want people to see her bedroom, but if you go to the Anivu homepage, at least the <laughs> model <on> and that's <laughs> actually her room with the backdrop oh in it. <laughs> so, so there can't, you can't go. Even help. It. You can't help it. it. You can't hide uh, no matter what. So, um, all right. D if you've got some other questions or if you just want to carry on the conversation afterward, um, I'm going to be here on the remote, uh, running remote platform, which is very cool, by the way. I've tried to connect with some of you already. Um, I promise you I'm not a sales guy, even though I talk fast in all of this. <laughs> uh, I love to just talk to people. Um, or if you want to email me, lance at anyvu.com. Um, you can probably figure that out. My name is Lance. That's Ellie. You can email her at ellie at anyvu.com. And uh, we'd love to carry on the, uh, the conversation. Um, if you've got, you know, got things you want to say that maybe you didn't get your questions answered here. Did you get any other questions there? Amelia is asking if you have a backdrop that's geared for streamers or gamers. Okay, so when you say geared for them, we've not created any stock designs that are good for that. Um, I am the world's worst person at gaming. So it's not that we don't think they're valuable. Um, it's kind of two things. One is my background is business, right? So I immediately think of business. 
Um, and so as soon as we can kind of get some people who are thinking about thinking about the gaming world and what they need. Uh, yeah, nice. Plus, I think a lot of times the green screen makes a ton of sense for gamers, frankly, because they've they've got their video stuff going. I watched a guy the other day about like this his intermission loop or something. And I'm like, you can get the crazy technology Whoa! involved. That's awesome. <laughs> so we don't think we're a solution for everything. Um, you know, and obviously it's an investment. So is somebody going to invest $300 for their gaming? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, there are people who are serious. There are people who are intense. Um, but, you know, we've seen a lot of applications for it outside that main thing. So thanks for asking. It's good. Yeah, good question. Thank you. Hmm. What you got? People Anything are saying else? they like it. Well, wonderful. We hope that uh, you give that. us a shot, and um, we would love to uh, to chat with you. So, um, I'm gonna let's see. I think I can wrap up a little bit early. There's no reason for me just to chat. Oh, you know what? Let me introduce you to one more person on the team. We got a minute. <laughs> Anna, come here. You need to see Anna because she's like the linchpin of the operation. Come here. Come here, sweetie. All right. All right. Hold on, stand up nice and tall. There we go. There we go. She is standing up nice and tall. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, so this is Anna and she operates our sewing machines. Uh, these are big industrial machines. Um, and I will just, I'm not gonna give it away, but a part of our ridiculously personal service is she's involved in it. I'm just saying. All right. Um, so, and then their brother, Mike is also involved in this process. Um, he's at the orthodontist today. So he gets out of this. <laughs> harrowing experience, right? Mm -hmm. um, and he does all of our packing and building of the frames and all of that. So we love doing